channel on Crafty Lady Etta. Today we're going to be doing a very special project. Now if you like what I do, please subscribe, tap that notification bell, and YouTube will notify you of any and all upcoming videos, and share. Okay, well with all this being said, let's get started. Hey Come on, welcome to my channel. I'm Crafty Lady Etta. Um, I have a special project to do with you today. But first of all, I want to welcome all my brand new subscribers. Thank you very much for subscribing. I appreciate it. As soon as I hit the 1,000 subscriber mark, I'm gonna do a giveaway. And uh, also I wanna thank all my, my, my regular subscribers for continuing to watch my videos. I appreciate it so much, I really do. Uh, now, the project that I wanna do today it's just one that I came up with today. See, I have a dilemma. <laughs> Let me tell you about it. I had this beautiful Talavera soap dish that I had for a long time, and I broke it today. So I thought to myself, well, I think I'm gonna buy me one, another one. But then I thought, no, you know, save money. So what I'm gonna do is I, I buy a lot of Bath and Body Works. So I came up with a good idea. I thought I'd use a tin can, okay? I'm going to use a tin can. I'm going to use this uh, napkin. You're going to need white paint, chalk paint, or any other kind of paint. You're going to need brown paint. And some kind of embellishments, whatever you want. I just happen to have these in my stash, these little birds. So I thought I would, you know, do a tree with some birds and stuff. Maybe something like this, you know, like that. Put along with the flower. It's just an idea. I mean, you can do yours how you want. But you know, I like to find ways to save money. And I like to do things on a budget. Now for the legs, I usually use wooden dowels. But I'm going to use these corks. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them all the same length. And I'm going to paint them and hot glue them down here for the legs. Okay. Well, with all this being said, let's get started. Okay guys, I went ahead and cut these down using just scissors and an X-Acto knife. I'm gonna go ahead and paint the can white and I'm gonna go ahead and paint these brown, okay? Okay guys, the reason why we're painting these is so that um, when you mud punch, you, it won't see the metal part of the can. It'll blend in. Guys, now I'm ready to much podge this on there. Now, before we start, these napkins always have two plies. You want to take off the bottom one and just leave the top one because that's the one you're going to much podge on the can. See this? You might want to save this for another time. You can also always use these. So, I'm going to mud podge it on there like this.
told you you can blend these in. Watch. I'm going to mud podge this. I'm going to blend this. You can also do it on the bottom if you want, which, I'm, which is what I'm going to do. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and mud parts the bottom. Guys, um, I wanted to put something down here in the bottom, so I found this ornament that I had. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, glue it down, but I'm not going to use hot glue because um, I'm going to have to cut this off. And I usually save everything for the reason that I can always recycle something. I think I'm going to leave it white. Okay guys, I went ahead and glued it down using this industrial Gorilla glue, which you can buy at Walmart. It's really good and really holds very strong, especially when it dries. I use this because if I use hot glue, with time, this, these will fall off. And I want them to last a long time because I'm going to be mixed, it's going to be, you know, mixed with water, so, yeah. All right, as soon as this dries, then I'll uh, do the inside, okay? Okay, guys, now it's already, uh, it's already uh, dried. See how it came out? I thought it came out super cute. Look at that. So, now what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and put this on there. See, like that. I'm going to use this industrial glue, okay? Uh, just put a very little on because this thing, it doesn't dry clear. came out super cute yeah you can make your own see and it's just all recyclable stuff and things that I already had in my stash that's all it is so yeah I thought it came out really nice so I made my own soap holder okay well if you like what I do please subscribe tap that notification bell and YouTube will notify you of any and all upcoming videos and share Okay, well, with all this being said, keep on crafting. Bye.